Hi, I'm Carl and welcome back to my shop. This week I have a fun little project. It's not a build project, it's a fix up project. My sister asked me if I could salvage this bench. Now this bench has lived outside for who knows how many years. What's happened is that the bottom of the legs are rotting out, but the rest of the bench is still fairly solid. And she liked it and she wanted if I could save it. So I said sure. So this week, this fixes up and we'll give it back to my sister and hopefully, hopefully she'll like it. So since the top half of this bench is still secure and stable and strong, we don't have to worry about the top half too much or do very much with that. We're mainly going to have to work on these legs. These legs are all rotted out. There's been a lot of moisture has gone up into this wood. So basically I'm going to find a point here and cut it off and then add another piece onto it. And the piece I add onto it, I want the grain to run horizontal. I don't want a vertical because if it goes vertical, the moisture, when it sits outside, is just going to wick right up this board again. But if I have a board that's horizontal, although a little bit of moisture will go in it, it won't go up as far. So that's what I want, and I would like to have basically this, probably the base piece wider, and put a dado in it, and this can set right down into the dado. So let's see if I can find some material, some treated lumber. I want treated lumber for the bottom so it doesn't rot. And with treated lumber on the bottom, you know, this tree lumber down here and the rest was pretty solid, stable. This should actually last for a number of years. And my sister says that she likes the rustic look of it. There's some paint on the top and so forth and she doesn't mind that. Because I asked her, do you want to paint it or do you want a clear finish on it? And she wants a weatherproof clear finish on it so that it keeps a rustic appearance. So that's what we do. Well, I found some lumber. I found some tree lumber that's been weathered a little bit, which will work really nicely with this bench because if it wasn't weathered, it'll stick out like a sore thumb.
Well, so that's pretty sturdy. Doesn't wiggle. It doesn't wiggle. It doesn't wobble. It sets nice and sturdy. Now I just gotta let the glue dry up, and then after that, put a finish on it. Yeah. Applied an oil finish to this workbench, to the entire thing, underside, top side, give it a lot of protection. But the nice thing about the oil finishes is that it soaks in right now and protects it, and some of it stays on top. It still feels like wood and not plastic, which is great. And also, um, when it comes time to, uh, in a few years, to apply some more oil to it, just light sanding, apply your oil to it. It's quick, it's easy. It's hassle-free, which is, I really like about it. So, I hope you like the way that this bench work turned out. I really hope that my sister and her family likes the way this bench turned out because hopefully they'll use it for quite a few years to come. And I think that's all for this one. So thanks for watching, and until next time, have a great day. Mm -hmm.